Hi guys, hello everyone. We're going to unbox a similar phone today, the Black Q 51.20, a marvel of Chinese, such Chinese technologies. This is the BV 51.20, which I've been using for half a year, so I can already, from my own experience, clarify what's good here, what's not so good, why I decided to buy this phone at all. I thought I needed a cheap phone to replace my main iPhone when I'll be traveling in the mountains, hiking, fishing and all that kind of stuff so as not to break my main phone I'd have a brick to replace it, quite reliable and it actually happened because it swam, bathed, yep it just flew, I don't know what I didn't do with it and I would do and use it to the max in the future if it weren't for one thing. I'd have used it in the future if not for one thing but I slightly overestimated this nifty phone several times. I didn't have a chance I was out of the house and I only had a 65 watt charging, very very powerful, and I charged it several times with this charger. And accordingly, not I know what I thought, I had to urgently. And that's it. And several times he and I worked. Then it does not turn on, that is, you can see that I pressed the power key Nothing happens at all. Well, accordingly, you don't need to think for a long time. It's either the entrance itself burned down, there is some kind of fee, yes, soldered, or just covered battery because, well, 65 watts is a little wet, although, and here, here, the 5,300 seems to be a milliampere. Well, in general, repairing it is not a very bad idea. Here you need to glue the glass heated uh, lift to get to this port or to the battery in general so as not to do it and not to waste neither money nor time because I think that they can ask for such operations there, probably half the cost of the phone considering that it cost 100 euros there at the time. 100 euros. Now it costs somewhere, they're 120, 130 euro on AliExpress. This is already with delivery. I decided to just order a similar phone and continue it in the same way. Kill it, but only use it into the charger. Let's take a look. Here is a, like, not the same, but a similar phone. Earlier I also ordered this phone, um, an extra case, just to be sure, just a simple silicone black case. and also ordered glass you know you really don't need it there at all but you know I just want to maximize it so you could essentially run over it with a bulldozer or tank such as this protective glass I will apply it later on and today the phone came let's look I'm unboxing Packaging is nice, the soft shell is, well the box, I want to tell you that it's very 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 impressive, like an iPhone, sturdy. There's a film on top, all the marks here are important. It means to us Android 10, 5.7 inches screen, 1440 HDS. You see, I was slightly wrong, slightly more even. 5580 milliamp battery, 4 GB RAM. With memory and 64 on board, you can also put an expansion card in there. I'm not sure, but perhaps up to 256. Looks like we still have an octa-core 1.8 gigahertz here. The camera is 13 megapixels, right? The camera is 13 megapixels and 16 megapixels. There is a wide viewing angle and a regular camera and an 8 megapixel front camera. 
Well then, what are we going to discover next? Welcome from Blackview, let's get started. And finally, uh, it smells great, like new equipment. So, what do we have here? By the way, it's very convenient because the headphones here use Type-C. They will work with both my MacBook and this phone, which is very handy. Type-C headphones are just cool. The included charger is as it should be. I'll definitely be charging with it now. So it's at 5, 7 or 9 volts and 2 amps and a maximum of 18 watts, just so you know. I charge with 65 watts. The Blackview charger is original. If only it was included with this phone and the cord. Very high quality, by the way, I still have it from the previous one, USB Type-C. Really good, good quality. Here we have such a sticker, just branding, branding Blackview, such a sticker about Well, actually, there are more instructions under the phone, but this, we will not read the instructions, of course. We will charge it with 65 watt chargers. Okay, the phone itself is packed in plastic. Again, green, the same way as it was. We unpack. So it's my favorite moment. It's so great. It means that I immediately see some little bit of trouble. And there are small blotches of air here, or maybe it's a... Here is a protective glass, here is a class. So look, I didn't understand right away. I started sinning on the iPhone, on the phone. In fact, there is a protective one right away. Under this advertising film, there is still one protective coating. I thought that uh, it was just a screen somehow poorly executed. There is also one protective coating, a peak that can be used as a protective. Then it probably he, but no, it is went to the switching powered by Android. Such a screensaver. Well, the first time it turns on takes quite a long time, then it turned on much faster. Well, I won't adjust it now until it turns off. I won't go through all these settings now. It's very similar, by the way, like the iPhone power off. Okay, so what do I like? Clips to carry around your neck or hook on your backpack which is very convenient when hiking and so on. A flashlight, absolutely ordinary two diodes, quite powerful, which is enough with the head. In addition, there is a flash, and therefore these four cameras, 16, 13, there is a wide angle and the usual macro there. It seems to be some kind of more, well, all these bells and whistles, they work, of course, well, they work, you know, not in the best way, but what works well is a fingerprint scanner. A fingerprint scanner, the scanner works quite well. The face recognition also works well. Here it is actually located near the camera, 
of the minuses that I did not really like in this model, but this applies to the principle of all such rugged phones is that the on off lock unlock button is positioned very close to the volume. Often when I want to reduce the volume while watching some videos or listening to music, I accidentally press the lock button which is quite annoying. This is the only major problem in this phone but when I have used it for long I can get accustomed to it. On this side we have only a key. I thought it was customizable, but for six months I didn't find where to adjust it. It is directly configured to switch off the flashlight, and there's a slot for TFT cards. Or SIM cards, that is, you can install either or two cards, SIMs, or a SIM card and a TFT card as per your gigabyte requirements, maximum being 256. You can probably have two TFT cards if not using the phone for communication. I don't know. I haven't tried. Everything fits quite tightly. There's a good rubber gasket. It fits tightly as well. I used it both in and around water. Even drop it, but everything worked fine. What else can I say about this phone? It certainly pays for itself. Even if you buy it for 120, 130 euros with six month warranty considering it has nfc you can use it for wireless payments without your wallet it has a charger a fingerprint sensor a face id all the key features that i use on my iphone i'm absolutely thrilled with this purchase for this price and for secondary outdoor activities such as fishing and hiking the phone handles all tasks 100% and I'm willing to forgive it some quirks like an awkwardly located key or whatever because it fulfills its duty. Please comment if you use this Chinese company's phones. How do you find them? Which models do you like? Have you worked with? And are there any pros? I know this company has different lines. There are many more advanced phones with more features. Please comment if you've used them. Is it worth the extra expense given that this is one of the cheapest phone options?